हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो इट इज़ ए द एम्बेडेड सिस्टम डिजाइन प्रोसेस इट इज़ ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर एंड इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द एट द पॉइंट ऑफ द यू कैन से द मैनुफैक्चर एबिलिटी एंड द सिस्टम डिजाइन दैट हाउ द सिस्टम इज डिजाइंड एंड हाउ एम्बेडेड सिस्टम इज इज यूजली डिजाइंड एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स कम इन दिस लेक्चर सो द एम्बेडेड सिस्टम डिजाइन प्रोसेस एम डेट टू ऑब्जेक्टिव फर्स्ट it will gives us uh, an introduction to the various uh, steps in the embedded system design and second it allows us uh, to consider the design methodology itself a design methodology is important for three reasons so why the me design methodology is important first to ensure that uh, we have done everything we need and second it will it allows us to develop computer aided design tools third it makes members for fair design team to a communicate to communicate easily so these three things are important for whenever we have the design methodology and we need this design methodology whenever we try to manufacture a complete uh, embedded system for our use so there are two approaches with the um, with any type with any type of the embedded system design and first of the thing that what we what we need actually we need some requirement and then we need some specialized specification of the system then the what is the architecture of the particular complete system then what is the components what is the system integration so all these things are required by the engineer because a layman decide that which type of the requirement is required okay for example let's uh, let's uh, see a uh, let's understand these things by uh, by the uh, by some layman that uh, he he required some uh, you can say visitor counter okay if he required some visitor counter so what will you do for that visitor counter you will say uh, as an engineer you will say that uh, what is the requirement of your visitor counter and then you will say that uh, what is the specific what should be the specification then layman will say you that uh, we required a visitor counter for 100 people so then at that time the 100 people will be you will you will have a specific you should have the specification uh, for the um, visitor counter as a 100 people right then you will find that what uh, that which type of the specification for the system design you need to require okay so at that time you will find that uh, uh, you need uh, some sensors two infrared sensors and one microcontroller unit one display unit so such type of things are you are you may required for the system after that you will need a uh, architecture then you will decide that uh, i need a microcontroller to be interfaced with the two ir sensors and my microcontroller must have some uh, uh, some display unit also so that it can be used with the system and uh, can be pro can provide particular architecture so that is a complete architecture and it is need to be uh, fabricate on a pcb right on the pcb you will find that uh, these component you can fabricate these component to the uh, components on a pcb and then you can provide the system on the you can integrate all the things and in a working fashion so that's how this these uh, model works so basically the person goes from top to down modeling and uh, we start from the requirement then a specification then architecture then components and system integration sometime it also happens then that we have a complete system and then we reengineering it then at that time we go in the bottom up model and then in bottom up model we have system integration we have components then we uh, find that uh, which type of the components are used in this uh, com in this model then we use that uh, which type of architecture they have used uh, uh, used in the model in the fabricated design then what are the specification of the things and for which requirement it is utilized so that is a bottom up approach both approaches are important and you students should learn this so there are some major goals of the design one is the manufacturing cost another is the performance both overall uh, speed and deadlines are important in the performance and the power consumption and the power consumption must be minimized when we design a complete system so thank you for this lecture if you have any type of problem if you have any kind type of uh, 
issue in the unit uh, first uh, then you can ask me it is a completion of this unit thank you